pantry has been in existence since the, we opened the second week of October in 2007. And we started with just a few clients. We had days that we had 132, 138 clients in one day. That's from 1 to 7 on Wednesday. They can come one time a month. The main thing about that is to find out what they would like. We, we try to offer what we call client choice. We don't just give them a bag of groceries. On the back of the form they fill out, there's all kinds of items. And they can choose what they like, what they don't like, and they'll cross off. It's just been such a blessing. And I said, it's one of the few food pantries that try to meet people where they are. You see the same person over and over, so you develop a relationship with them. So you can, um, the way the paperwork works, we have little notes on it that we can follow up. You know, if somebody had a doctor's appointment or a surgery or something like that, and follow up on that. We also pay for them over a month's period of time, which, um, it's really neat when you talk to somebody and they're like, I can tell you were praying for me. They come from Fishers, Douglasville, Sheridan, Carmel, Cicero. Uh, the large majority do come from Noblesville. The more I saw going on here, the more I wanted to be a part of it. Sometimes it's easier to open up to a stranger than it is you know, people you're around. So um, just being there for them is why I do it. Our goal is to provide them with seven meals for the week. Seven, or seven lunches, seven breakfasts, seven dinners, and then snacks and other items to go with them. We have sausage, we have uh, hamburger patties, ground beef, hot dogs, but everything is there for that meal for a family of four. The recipe of exactly what they need and what to do. If it's a family of more than four, then we give them multiple meals. And something else unique that we do is the birthday bag. When I first came, my job was to do the birthday bags, which was really fun. Any child in the family that has a birthday, 12 and under, during the month, we give them a birthday bag. With cake and frosting and a small toy. Dish soap, uh, personal items such as uh, toothpaste and toothbrushes, mouthwash, cleaning supplies, shaving supplies. We go up in diapers right now. All these boxes are put together and ready for filling of the orders. We'll use all of these boxes and probably more today. On a busy day, we've gone through as many as 400 boxes in one afternoon. Each family gets four to five boxes of food. The average family takes home about, uh, not including the, the food items that they pick up off the table upstairs, but what they get from downstairs here is about 70 pounds of food for an average family of four. All the empty boxes over here, those are all pending the food collections such as you're going to your church. We have someone here working five days a week. Even though you're tired at the end of the day, it, you just go home feeling so good about what you've done. And not that we've done a lot, but we've, we've tried to help people. Uh, can I say that every client that we handle is in need and we've helped them? I hope so. I know there are some that might not have a need as much, but 99% need it and it helps them. They might come back, we've had two or three that will come back maybe a couple months later. And so we greet them to, to handle, help them again. They say, no, 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 I have food for you. We're back on our feet, my husband got a job, I got a job, now we're bringing food to you so that we can pass it on. And it's those kinds of situations that make it all more than worthwhile.